Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let's learn a Python program that is write a Python function that takes two lists and returns true if they have at least one common member. So given two lists as input to the Python function, so your task is to check if they have at least one common member and you have to return true. So if the two list that uh, doesn't have at least one common member, so then you have to return false. So that is a problem statement. So let's try to solve this. So let me define a function that is uh, check underscore common. So this is my function and I need to pass uh, two list that is first and second. So let's take first. So this is my list name and uh, let's take second so this is the second list name so now i'll be iterating all the items present in the first list and checking if the item is present in the second so let's use a for loop for the iteration for item in first so i am iterating the first list and let's take the item and check if that is present in the second so let's use if item is present in the second. So then what you have to do is just immediately return true. So let's use a return statement and let's return the boolean value that is true. So once the for loop completes and you didn't find anything that is common between two lists. So let's use a return false. So this is for the negative scenario. Yeah, so this is the python function that takes two lists that is first and second and checks if they are common that is at least one item is common between them so in the main program so let's accept the list one from the user and again list two from the user and uh, let's call this function so before that so let's take a length variable and ask a user to enter list one length so, so let's use the input function call and here let's say enter list one length and this is of type integer so let's convert it into an int type using the type conversion so once we get the length so let's take an empty list one that is list one and let's initialize it to an empty list so now I'll be using the for loop to iterate from 0 to the list length and ask a user to enter the list item. So let's use for loop for underscore. So I don't need the offset or the index. So that's the reason I'm using underscore. So let's use in range of length. So I am iterating from 0 to the list length and ask a user to enter list one item so let's take a temp variable and use the input function call to ask a user to enter list one item yeah so this is of type integer so let's convert it into an integer type so you can also use float or string so for my explanation purpose so i am using integer type and uh, let's append the temp variable to the list one so let's take the list one dot append and let's pass the input argument that is temp yeah so this is the method to accept the list one items into your program and now let's ask a user to enter list two so let's take length variable again and ask a user to enter list to length so let me copy and paste it over here so enter list to length and now let's take a empty list to and initialize it to an empty list so now let's iterate from the zero to the list to length so i'll be using for loop for underscore in range of that is length length variable and accept the list to item so let's take a temp variable and uh, let's use a input function call to ask a user to enter list to item yeah so let's convert again this to an integer type using the type conversion 
yeah so once we are done getting the list to item so let's append it to the list to let's take list to dot append and let's append the temp variable yeah so this is the method to get the list to into your programming and now let's use the if statement and directly call this function that is a check common so this will return true or false so that will be favorable for if statement that is a check common and let's use list one and list two so if the two list contain at least one common member so let's print the positive case that is uh, at least one common member exists between two list so i am copying from the above that is at least one common member exists between to list this is between yeah so let's take a else block for negative scenario if the function returns false so let's use print and let's say no common member exists between two list yeah so this is for the negative scenario so this completes the program so this is a complete program to accept the list one list two and call the function so to check if one common member exists between two list or not so let me execute this and let me show you how it works so enter the list one length so i contain that is two members that is 1 and 2 so in the second list I will give 3 and let us say 2, 3 and 4 so you can see 2 is uh, common between two lists so let us execute it so you can see at least one common member exists between two lists so this is a successful scenario so closing it so let me execute it again and let's try for negative scenario so let's give three let's give one two three as a list one item so here let's give list two members as a four so let's give four five six seven so you can see the list one doesn't contain any of the items of list two or list two doesn't contain any common member between list one so you can see the message has been printed that is for the negative scenario that is no common member exists between two lists. Yeah, so this is a complete Python program that uses Python function to take uh, list one and list two and check if they have at least one common member. So I'll give this code in the description of this video. So that's it in this video. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye.